In this video, I'm going to go over the Udacity Cybersecurity Analyst Nano Degree. I am always looking for great cybersecurity online courses. There's not a lot of courses out there that are good, frankly, and I am happy to bring you that I have found a great course if you are interested in becoming a cybersecurity analyst. Now, I'm not sponsored by Udacity. However, if you use the link below, I do get a small commission at no cost to you. And the proceeds that I do make from that go to my overlord. He made me create this video. In this review of the Udacity Nano degree, I'm gonna go over who the course is for, the course content and what I learned, the pros and the cons. I'm also going to go over the the skills that you learn because they actually do do projects, whether or not this will help you get a job, the pricing of the nano degree, and stay to the end of the video and I'll go over on how you can put this on a resume and some tips on helping you land an interview after going through this course. Also comment, like, and subscribe as it helps the almighty YouTube algorithm. The cybersecurity analyst nano degree is for a complete beginner. If you have no experience in cybersecurity, this is the course for you. That's not an understatement. The material is extremely good. I was very impressed when I went through it. So a downside is if you don't know like the difference between a hard drive and memory, what those are, then it may not be for you. It's not that beginner. If you don't know anything about computers or networks or system administration or cloud or programming or any of that, this course may be a little bit advanced. The modules in this course, the first one is just welcome to becoming a cybersecurity analyst. It just goes over exactly what you do as a cybersecurity analyst. The next one is the fundamentals of defending systems. And here you're gonna learn basic cybersecurity terminology that you're really going to need to know for the job. It also goes through applicable frameworks such as NIST 800-53, but it only goes over the parts that you're going to need to know for the job, which is really useful. It also goes over NIST 800-30, which is why you have a job in the first place if you ever want to read that if you want to go to sleep at night. It goes over to common what is CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Those are really important concepts. It goes over different administrative, technical, and physical controls. The next course is analyzing security threats. And here you're going to learn about the OWASP top 10 and the critical threats that they pose to organizations. And as a cybersecurity analyst, you're going to be looking at tons of logs that have different tabs aimed at web applications. So knowing the OWASP top 10 is extremely valuable. You also learn how to mitigate the OWASP top 10, what threat modeling is, and also how to build your own threat models. So it does have projects on all of this. The next course is assessing vulnerabilities and reducing risk. And this was good because it teaches you how to assess vulnerabilities and also the life cycle of vulnerabilities and how to mitigate them and communicate them to other people. You will learn how to measure the risk and the associated vulnerabilities. The next course is going to be monitoring, logging, and responding to incidences. And this is a super important module. Do not skip this. And it also has projects on how to read logs. So you can talk about that in a cybersecurity interview to a potential employer about your experience and your projects that you've done and solidified. Also, after going through this, you may have more ideas on more projects that you could do and create a portfolio of projects. In this course, you also go over building dashboard in Splunk. And I've seen that on many job descriptions. So if you create, say, an SOP on how to build a dashboard, that would be really good because you're you, A, you know written communication. And number two, you know how to build a dashboard in Splunk. And number three, it shows that you can learn things on your own, which is awesome. Some skills you learn are OWASP Prot 10, the basics of malware, different types of attacks, the difference between encryption and hashing, how to use Wireshark and analyze that. I believe that's in the last course because you actually capture live traffic and then you do a network analysis. How cool is that? You also correlate alerts with additional data sources and logs. Some pros to the Udacity Nano degree are number one, it starts from the beginning. So if you don't know anything, you're going to be able to follow the information without getting too overwhelmed. Number two, the production quality is really good. It also has quizzes, it has projects, 
mistakes that you actually go through to solidify the knowledge that you're learning and you gain real hand experience. It also has really good resources. So I actually gained a lot of good resources when I went through it and it has different links to different things. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. It goes over applicable topics only to a cybersecurity analyst. So it doesn't get into the nitty gritty of NIST 800-53, it only takes what you need to know for a cybersecurity analyst. And I think that was amazing. The link is below in the description if you want to go sign up right now. Actually, just, just go and sign up now. Wait, well, after I tell you about the pricing. Some cons is that there's no free trial, which kind of sucks. You know what you can do to make yourself happier is you can smash that like button. It doesn't teach you the basics of IT. So you may have to go do like the Google IT support certification. I do have a review here. Also, some of the links didn't work. And another con was the pricing model. And that leads me to the next section is what is the pricing model? And this is where it gets really confusing. So if you go to their site, it says $3.99 a month. And I was deterred from actually signing up to these courses because of their pricing model. I was like I'm not paying $400 a month with no free trial. They have like these weird discounts. So if you sign up and it's, it says like you get 75% off or something like that, there's a way that you can get it down to $100 a month. So as of right now, it is $100 a month or you can sign up for three months for 365 or, or something like that or four months. But this course isn't going to take you four months to do. I would just do it month by month. And then after two months, honestly, you should be good. So the amount of time it takes to complete, I would say is two months. So overall your cost should be around $200 but the return of investment on this and the skills that you learn and the time that you save is worth way more than $200. When you go through it, make sure to actually do the projects. But if you're just trying to figure out what a cybersecurity analyst does, you could probably just do it in one month and have a really good view. Will the Udacity cybersecurity analyst nano degree help you get a job? And the answer is yes. However, not just by going through it mindlessly and not learning, but actually engaging in the material Material and actually doing the projects, you can definitely land a job from this because it's so actionable and it has projects and you could probably get a lot of good ideas from these projects. Employers know that you can just go through the course material and actually not learn it and then put it on your resume. They know this. The main takeaway of this course will be all the projects that they give you. They also have career help if you want to check that out. I didn't go through it, but they actually have people answer your questions, whether that be about the, the course material or about your resume or landing a job. So that's another really valuable thing. Placing the Udacity Cybersecurity Analyst Nano Degree on your resume, it should go underneath the education level because it is education and you can frame it like this. I have it right here. Do not skip the projects because you're going to want to put that on your resume, all the projects that you do while you go through the course. Overall, I think the Cybersecurity Nano Degree is definitely worth your time and money. So I, there is a link below. And also I have tons of other videos on how to become a cybersecurity analyst, whether that be different types of skills you need, different tools, what they actually do, things of that sort. So you can check that out. And thank you for watching. Until next time.